Hi guys, uh, my name is Rahul. Welcome to this video of Roadmap to Data Science. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about how I transitioned from uh, physics to yoga science to data science and what roadmap I followed to reach where I am right now. So this is a, a blog I have written uh, like what roadmap I followed for to become a data scientist and how much time it took me to be here and how I did it step by step. So I will uh, add this link. I will uh, embed this link in the description below. You can check it, ch check it. and uh, let me show you like uh, I have written two blogs on this. Like first is a uh, roadmap which roadmap I followed and uh, how I transitioned. Like uh, if you would like take if you would like to take a look about my previous career, like how I did it, so that you can motivate yourself. You can check out this Medium blog uh, of CloudyML where you can see uh, how I transitioned from yoga therapist to uh, data scientist. Uh, as it, it happened after COVID. So you can just take a look at it also just to motivate yourself if you feel that you are in non-IT background and it is very difficult to come into data science. And I would like to tell you that that's absolutely wrong. Yeah, there are challenges, it's difficult, uh, it may be possible that you feel really frustrated in the beginning, but nothing is impossible. Uh, if you really want it, nobody can stop you and you can even reach up to the level of Google. So just, uh, and if you would like to ask me some questions, you can look at my, look at my LinkedIn profile, you can search Rahul Mishra and you can message me also. Uh, I will reply you as soon as I am available. And uh, so let's just discuss uh, what roadmap I followed to be here. So when I transitioned into data, data, data science, uh, uh, I was also quite confused, like where should I start? Which role should I follow? And uh, like they, like you, you can go for data analyst, data scientist, ML engineer. So I will discuss all three of it. So first, uh, what I started, like I actually started with some programming languages because I didn't know about data science at that time. But for data science, if you would like to start, I will say that uh, uh, first decide which role you want to pursue, like data analyst, data scientist or ML engineer. So the common thing in all three is like I will say Python and SQL is common in all three. Python and uh, SQL and it's like analyzation of data is obviously common in all three, but the difference is like in data analyst, you would, you would use Tableau, Power BI uh, tools and uh, uh, in as a data scientist, you can use even Python, uh, Python uh, libraries to analyze the data and same for same in ML engineer. So, Python and SQL is like, uh, usually many will say that in as a day for a data analyst, you don't need Python, but I will suggest that uh, if you are coming into this field, you should take a language with yourself and some take it like, take it as like R also. Uh, personally, I chose Python. So you can choose either Python or R, whatever you like. So when I started uh, my career, I chose Python to study. Uh, that's why this blog I have written first blog of data science is Python and uh, on an average I will say that personally I spent actually three or two to three months on Python. Uh, it depends on your speed. Uh, I'm, I'm not a very fast learner. So I chose Python and I spent uh, two to three months on it until I felt that I'm comfortable in it now. Then I moved to another blog which I will say uh, I started with uh, machine learning then because I was focusing on ML engineer. I didn't think of data analyst, but if you are planning for data analyst after Python, you can go for some analyzation tools like Excel or Tableau or Power BI. I think uh, Tableau can be a good choice first. In this blog, I have also uh, suggested uh, some good courses for you for Python. For example, 
crash course uh, crash course by google uh, crash course by google on coursera and python for everybody on coursera it's really good uh, i haven't done this python for everybody course but uh, the teacher of this python for everybody course he has made a video on python uh, on free code camp on youtube so you can like it i mean you will you will actually like it it's it's good and uh, like a uh, good tutorial on uh, youtube or regarding python you can check these links so uh, in this blog i have uh, suggested some uh, courses youtube links uh, which you can find it really helpful uh, as as a beginner like completely from non it background i followed those things so next block i followed was machine learning since i as i said that i was following the path of uh, machine learning engineer so i chose machine learning for people who are into data analysis they can skip this uh, if they want it's not necessary for them to go 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 for it uh, but those who want to become a data scientist and machine learning engineer and those who love extra learning they can go for it it's really beautiful you will enjoy it so like as i said on python i spent like 2 to 3 months and machine learning i also spent some some around like like that uh, up to 2 months so uh, the main challenging part in machine learning is it's not like uh, uh, knowing about the topics in it it's about applying them on data set and uh, for that i will suggest you to take some participation in uh, hackathons uh, work on data set as much as you can uh, face multiple problems like regression classification apply different different algorithms uh, hyperparameter tuning on it so you need to go for a hands on and if you would like to work on going on hands on you can also check uh, uh, learn by doing the course of uh, cloud ml also um, you can find it useful uh, i had uh, i had also taken it in the beginning ai for all course now it's ml for data science now if you would like to uh, if you are really into books you like that i will suggest that you can check uh, one python for data analysis so book uh, and they have really uh, uh, good uh, good uh, explanation on the python libraries like numpy pandas matplotlib seaborn and even on some uh, regression classification concepts for youtube video i have suggested this link of free code camp you can take a look at it now uh, there are like there's another book of by orally also like hanson orally for machine learning you can find that book really useful now uh, now the most famous course of machine learning is by andrew engio on coursera by, by stanford university so you can find this very useful i have uh, finished it so i can vouch for it and third is like uh, if you are into machine learning you must go for deep learning also uh, deep learning is like it is the future and if you would like to make your career secure and uh, long term deep learning is something you should be you should be into already and uh, now let's go for the main point like a uh, best course for deep learning like uh, i have done this by coursera deep learning specialization and uh, deep learning dot ai tensorflow developer professional certificate by coursera it is also good you can also check uh, our deep learning uh, course uh, it's same learn by doing uh, it will be helpful for you uh, to get the hands on it now um, best book i would suggest suggest is uh, deep learning with python by manning publication it is really good i loved it and nlp speci- specialization if you would like to become nlp engineer you if you like working on text data this is a really good course now uh, as i said python and sql is uh, is uh, same for like analyst and ml engineer data scientist now uh you must be very good at uh, sql whether you want to go for machine learning engineer data scientist or data analyst because whenever you work in any industry uh, working with databases is very common thing so you must be very good at it 
so i will suggest like uh, best books on it like uh, head first sql sql cookbook you will really love and there are multiple playlists on youtube also on sql you can also check our sql course so uh, just make sure you don't leave sql behind whenever you are learning sql is very important part of uh, data science now let's come to the data analyst part excel tableau and power bi you must be good at it if you want to become a data analyst uh, these three things uh, comes very useful when you are applying for data analyst role i haven't added power bi here because i never did it so i don't know much about it but you must know this for data analyst and we have uh, courses available for it if you would like to take a look at it you can check our cloudable website or you can check in the description below so uh, for data analyst you must be good at it this is the road map uh, uh, i had followed uh, since i was into machine learning so i didn't check power bi but i have uh, done some work uh, uh, in tableau also uh, it's really nice software uh, and you can use tableau public it's free of cost so guys you must take a look at it this road map uh, read about it and uh, on an average i will say that if you want to become a data analyst it will take you up to uh 4 to 5 months that's sufficient if you are spending uh, let's say 5 to 6 hours a day i am i may be giving you like 4 to 5 months you might finish it in 3 months also it just depends on your speed or it may take up to 6 months also depending on how much time you invest into it and 6 month is like same sufficient for data scientist and machine learning engineer also and i didn't talk about statistic here because uh, uh, i assume that you must know high school statistic you don't need to go much depth into it so those who think that i didn't talk about statistic um, don't take it as like it's not necessary it's just necessary uh, up to the level of high school if there are some topics uh, comes which is not into from high school you can just google it you don't need to go into depth of it by following a complete google statistic but if you want to do it uh, there are some books also like uh, practical statistics by data scientist it's a good book with uh, uh, with code mentioned into it uh, and discussing the statistic behind it so guys uh, just read uh, this blog for more details and you can also check my story just in case if you would like some motivation that how i did it so this was all about uh, road map to data science thank you guys if you have any question you can uh, comment below and if you like this video please uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe our channel and share it with the